Hey guys, welcome back. In today's short video, I'd like to show you a modification that I made to the ultra-sensitive listening device shown to you years ago on my channel. This homemade electronic device allowed me to easily and clearly listen through walls and concrete floors. If you have not seen that video, you'll find a video thumbnail that you can click on at the end of this video, which also shows the schematic if you'd like to make one of these yourself. The way this worked is very simple. Inside this project box is an LM386 audio amplifying circuit. Over here, this metal disc or wafer, that is called a piezo or piezo wafer. Now inside this metal disc are crystals and you can see it better right over here. It's a little bit smaller and it has a brass disc instead of the nickel. And you can see there's another smaller disc in the center, connection from the smaller disc in the center right here, and the outer edge with the brass has another connection. In between the smaller disc and the larger one are quartz crystals. In the event this is shocked, tapped on it, if you squeezed it, or even speaking close by, which generates sound waves which strike this disc, it's going to produce a very small voltage. What the circuit does, it takes that small voltage that's generated and it gives you an audio output right over here at this jack to the earbuds. This knob right here is your gain. Counterclockwise fully is low. Clockwise to the max is going to give you the highest gain. And back here is a button. Push on that. That adjusts the tone of the sound. In the previous video, you're going to see this PVC cap was added. It was glued using E6000 adhesive to the piezo wafer to this side over here, protecting that on the inside of the cap. And the other side is just flat. What I would do is just take this, hold the flat surface against a wall or floor, and the sound would transfer into the piezo wafer, vibrating the crystals, giving you the sound output. After years of using it this way, I wanted to have a probe that would allow me to listen to sounds in the ground. So if I wanted to find a water leak, I can insert this into the soil, try and get an idea of where the pipe is located. And the way to do that very easily, turn on an outside hose bib, only partially, just enough to create a little bit of noise through the valve while the water is running. That noise is going to transfer into the water in the pipe, making it much easier to find using this probe. This is also very handy if you're trying to find a sewer line. You could put this in the general area where a sewer line is located, which you're going to see in this video. And you should be able to hear the water rushing by in the pipe when you flush the toilet. In order to modify this into a probe, what I did right over here, I took this brass piece that I had laying around. Luckily, I have a big pile of spare parts. I bonded it directly to that piezo wafer using very strong and hard epoxy. And then I added this long rod. The purpose of this plate is allow me to push this into the earth or soil with my fingers without exerting pressure on the cap. Let me take this outside, give you a quick demonstration just to show you how well this works because it's truly amazing what you can hear using this device.
next thing I'm going to do is insert the probe in the general area where I know one of my sewer lines are located. The probe is not making contact with any pipe, but it's going to be fairly close to it, allowing you to hear the water in the pipe when I flush the toilet. You're going to hear the toilet flush right now. And now you can hear the water rushing by in the pipe. Guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.